So we've got the chickens that hopefully cannot escape. It, the, ah! Ah! Are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? <gasps> Good day friends, today I'm finally back in tips. Uh, it took me a very long time, but I finally made the start of the Lego house, the Lego Research Center. I really want to make the whole science center to be made of Lego. I've only had the time to make it out of white blocks. I hope to add some red blocks because right now you cannot actually see that it's made of Lego except for the floor. The floor looks really cool, I think. Uh, but there's also some other things that I have to do and that I have to learn because, for instance, a torch just it doesn't go on the Lego. The torch do doesn't go on the Lego, which is a shame. So uh, the door, as you can see, doesn't go on the Lego. This button here, it doesn't go on top of the Lego. Uh, the bed, it doesn't go on Lego. So there's a lot of limits to it. So I really have to, I really need to learn how it works and to make it look and work like a really cool Lego research center. Uh, apart from that, really I have forgotten what we did in the last episode. I know that I found another queen bee, so I should be able to make another apiary. That's, I think, yeah, apiary. That's what this is called. Um, I don't know why... Does it not work anymore? Did I break it somehow? The queen bee go goes in here. Like last time. And she should be making honey. I don't know. Did I do... Maybe I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong? I don't know. She's not working anymore. Is she dead? Oh, I hope she's not dead. So that's the progress that we made. We built this little Lego house. We've got the beehive. The apiary, as it's called. Um, then we've got the tree place. Which literally only has one tree. Let me just re replant it. Eh. Boo! There we go. Okay, give me a sapling. Sapling. There we go. That's where it's replanted. Uh, but I think we can get another tree because while I was looking for the Lego cave, I actually found something really cool. I actually found something really cool. So I will show you that. It was in the caves and. It is, I think it is an extinct species of tree, so let's check it out. Okay, so here is a mine that I found. Oh, by the way, this is where a creeper exploded, as you can see. Every time I put it on, even on easy mode, I just get swarmed with creepers. So that's why I have turned it to peaceful mode right now. So hopefully not my entire Lego house gets blown up by the creepers. Um, but here we go. There's this cave that I found, as you can see. Uh, this is also where I got some of the iron that I needed for the special forge and everything. And here I found this dungeon. Check it out. And there's a spider spawner, which is which is probably going to be very useful in the future. But right now, there's not going to be any spiders coming from it because I'm on peaceful mode, luckily. So, and then here, there is the treasure chest. Let's have a look. There is... A better geo book. I don't even know what that is. That's part of the better geo mod that I have. Uh, it's probably going to teach me something about the geology. So let's just take those out. Better geo book. Another one. Oh, they turn into a different color. Wait, this one is brown now, right? And I put it in my inventory. Oh, it turns purple. What does that mean? Oh, these two are the same. Ash metallurgy. Ash metallurgy, these are the same. And then I have glacial erratic soil. I don't know what that means, but I guess that's what we'll have to learn. Then there's a golden apple, copper, which is redstone. They just call it copper now. Oh, a music disc. I think you have to collect those. And here is my favorite thing from the chest, the lata sapling. I think it can grow on the normal uh, dirt. So let's just plant one and see what happens. I hope it's not a special one that you need four saplings to make a really big tree, uh, like the dark oak, because then I don't have enough. I really hope that this is enough. I only have one. I mean, I only have two. I have two saplings. Oh, this is, I hope it's going to be a really good. I'm just going to plant both of them kind of far apart. There we go. I hope they will grow. I hope they will grow 
but it's probably going to take some time. So what am I going to do in the meantime? I think I'll do some farming and maybe feed some of the animals because I'm trying to tame them. Because a lot of them are still wild. Uh, and then I will come back and hopefully they will have grown. Why are you all s swimming? Why are you all swimming? They really like to swim really far away. I'm not going after you guys. Why are you over all the way on that island? <coughs> what is going on? There we go. Is it a baby? Ah, oh, it's still not tamed. It's still a wild sheep. When do I get a tamed sheep? I want a tamed sheep. They are still wild. Okay, here's one. I'm not going over there to those swimming sheep. I don't know why. Why are they swimming? Okay, I guess I will have to swim for the chicken. Because I only have like two chickens on the island. So I have to be really careful with them. So they don't go extinct. Come with me, chicken. I don't want you to go extinct like these trees and these dinosaurs that I'm trying to bring back as well. I have to bring back dinosaurs, extinct dinosaurs, extinct trees, and now extinct chickens. Come here. Wait, chicken, come with me. It's almost it's almost dark. It's almost dark. Come. Come. We have to we have to go to bed. We have to go to bed. Wait, you know what? Chicken, you can live with me. You can live inside the fence. Then you will be the first animal. You will be the first animal officially. Do you like that? Officially, you will be the first animal here at the research center. There we go. There we go. Now we've got a chicken. Ah, so now it's morning. Um, the trees didn't grow yet, so I guess I will have to go out and find another chicken. And then I will try to tame them. There's one. Hello there. Hey, do you want to come? Do you want to come? To my research center and be one of the first inhabitants of the research center okay come with me we are trying to bring back dinosaurs and extinct trees we're actually currently working on bringing back an extinct species of trees isn't that interesting little duck chicken little chicken duck i think he thinks that it's really interesting or she is it is this a she or is it a he i don't know there we go. Hello. You are now inside the research facility. Oh, I hope the other one didn't ex escape by climbing on the tree. Where's the other chicken? Hello. There you are. There we go. And now there will be a baby chicken. The first baby chicken. The first baby animal that is born. <gasps> Look at it. It's the very first baby animal that was born in the research facility. Uh, it needs a name. How do you give them names? I think you need to make like a name tag for them. But I forgot how it works. Wait, can I just go over like this? I'm not sure if they can do that. Hmm. I don't think they can. I don't think they can do that. Okay, so let's check out all the items that I got. I got the music disc, but I don't have actually have a music player. I got these books. How do you... Can you actually like read them like this? <gasps> Ash. Ash is formed when minerals are processed in a smelter. Which is this one. And that's why I put this pipe on the side. As you can see, it has this pipe here. So when there's ash coming out, it doesn't spread everywhere. Because that's what ha that's what was happening first when I didn't have the pipe. The ash would go all in the air and land on the ground. And it would hurt me and it would ha hurt the animals uh, a lot. It's like fine sand and spreads easily with the wind. Ash often contains several metals, for example titanium. If enough ash can be gathered, it is possible to recover metals from it. Oh, I might actually have some. Because when I didn't have the pipe for the smelter, I did mine some. There we go. Here's seven ash. And here's eight. Okay, so I have 15 ash. Is that enough? It is trying to make a titanium bar. Except I don't have enough. I only have nine. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Look, it's not going to be enough to make it to the end. No, it's not enough. <gasps> what can I use titanium for, though? I don't know what I can even use titanium for. Okay, so that is the book about the ash. Then there's a book about glacial erratic soil. Let's read it. Glacial erratic. Glacial erratic are huge boulders that have been broken off from bedrock and transported by glacier or inland ice sheet. So the ice has moved these 
boulders. That's really cool. The boulder travels in the direction of the ice flow until the ice melts, leaving the boulder in the terrain. Glacial erratic can have a different composition than the surrounding rock. That's really interesting, I think. That's how a lot of boulders that exist where I live, we have a lot of big boulders lying around. And people used to think that giants brought them here. But in reality, it's the ice that brought it here. Like it says in this book. Okay, so I should make like a little library for these books and hope that I can find some more. Except it's sad that I now already have a double one. I hope I can find a lot of different books that will teach me about all the different types of uh, stone and soil and stuff that there is. Wait, I have some bone meal. Do you think that I can use that? If you use bone meal, do you think that works on the old trees? Because I'm, I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to wait for the tree to grow. No, you don't escape. He's trying to escape. But it's not working. Wait, what did you do? He's going into the ground. I found a new species of chicken. It's like a tunneling mole chicken. That's what it is. Okay, so should I just spend all of the bone meal like this? Oh! <gasps> oh, that's really cool. Check it out. I brought an ex extinct species of trees back to life. How cool is this? An extinct a species of trees that was extinct. It did, doesn't exist anymore in Minecraft. And I brought it back to life. This is so cool. This is so cool. This tree deserves, deserves a spot next to uh, my other tree. And then I will have two trees in my tree garden. So let's just chop it down. I hope my axe won't break. I think I can do it. Oh, I cannot do it. Okay. Oh, now it's chopping down the whole tree. I think now it's chopping down the whole tree. I don't know why it didn't happen with that last block, but now... Yeah, there we go. <gasps> now I have so many saplings. Now I can plant so many of them. I can bring this tree back into this world, even though it was extinct. I have saved it. Yes. Yes, sheep, are you happy? Do you want to live inside? I need sh I need two sheep though, not just one. I need two of them. I got 28 saplings from that one tree. Wow, now I can really bring this tree back. And it's almost getting dark again. So I'm probably going to end this video. I will plant it here. I hope it will grow in the normal uh, uh, soil instead of the dirt. I hope it will grow on the special ground. There we go. Okay, so now we've got two types of trees and one type of animal. Oh, there it is. Little chicken. Be careful because when this tree grows big, then you might be stuck inside. So we've got the chickens that hopefully cannot escape. It, they, ah, ah, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? Ah, they managed to escape. Ah, man. Okay, let's see if this works. If I just... If I just put some... <laughs> no, you don't escape. You don't escape. There we go. <laughs> and then I just remove these. There we go. I don't want you guys to escape. Why do you guys want to escape from this place? This research. You guys could be scientist chickens. Okay, it's really dark now. It's kind of scary. I'm going to bed. Uh, everyone else who's watching this video, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.